มาดิวิสุทธ Good morning and welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to the first, I think, uh, blockchain summit in p a l a We are indeed uh, grateful to have uh, people from all over the world uh, joining us in this event, and especially our our guests from. Uh, The Web3 space, the blockchain space, and and digital residents that are here with us. Uh, I know that uh, our colleagues from the National Congress. I see delegate h e d u l the delegate t e l e the delegate Swalablai, and uh, Senator uh, uh, Vasilius, uh, members of our Congress that are joining us here today. And I think they're all here to hear from our friend uh, uh, Vitalik uh, v i t e r a n who uh, a year ago, I think it was about a year ago, when we first spoke uh, through our Zoom, and I invited you to come to Palau, and it's so great to have you here, because really what this um, conference is about is about bringing people together. Um, Palau is. Uh, a very fairly young nation, uh, because uh, our independence began in 1994. So this next year we will celebrate our 30th birthday. But really, in reality, we were a nation way before uh, uh, other people claimed us as their part of their country. So you know we didn't have a choice. The Spanish came along and said, "Oh, you're part of us," <laughs> and then without our say. The Spanish told us the, the Germans, and, and so we became part of Germany. And then after that, uh, Germans, uh, the League of Nations gave us to Japan. And then after, of course, World War II, we were given the United States as a trust territory. Uh, so finally, in 1994, we gained our, I could say, our freedom, <laughs> our freedom to be sovereign again. <laughs> and. Uh, You know, harnessing the digital technology is all about freedom, right? Uh, you know, and we're looking forward for the next few days, not only keeping you keep cooped up in this room, but also experiencing what Palau has to offer. And I think what's most important is that, uh, as a country, we've got to look at our strengths and and, and see how we can leverage them. For creating opportunities for our people. So, as a government, uh, first of all, I want to thank all of you that are here, and of course the Blockchain Society, Elaine and and Alan, for bringing everyone together. Because as a government, we promote private sector development. We want to help entrepreneurs grow. Because if you are successful, a l o w is successful. It's a, it's truly a partnership. That's that's the ultimate goal is is to have everybody. Prosper together. Um, so, really, our our goal is how do we create or diversify our economy and take advantage or or or, or use uh, the new technologies to help our country move forward. Um, we have a small population. That's what could be a, uh, I guess, a, a hindrance, but it also creates an opportunity. We're in the Western Pacific. We're on the same time zone as as Japan, and of course, uh, I think only an hour ahead of China. So our our, our location is important. Uh, we have a rich history and culture, and also we're very blessed to have a lot to be a large ocean state. I always like to say that we have an ocean the size of France, and I think one of the things that Palau. Uh, is well known for is protecting that ocean, and how we optimize the use of those resources to really benefit our people. So when I was running for president, one of the things that uh, we talked about was: so how do we diversify our economy? How do we uh, look at other ways that uh, can help Palau grow, but not 
I think, put too much stress on our environment because you have to balance growth with uh, the protection of our environment. And you know, one of the things that we see is that as you have mass tourism, although it's good, it provides uh, economic benefit, but it also causes stress on the environment. So it's this it's constant balance. We know we have fishing, but if we overfish, then we also destroy those resources. So it's about balancing. So embracing the digital technology creates another space where we can uh, grow the, our economy. And Palau is very fortunate to have one fiber optic cable, a second one that will be connected next year. If we ride redundancy. And we know that uh, even uh, uh, as we speak, Starlink is now uh, changing the world. So that digital co connectivity continues to expand. In fact, uh, just this uh, year, we signed a grant with the United States to provide digital connectivity to every home in Palau. That means fiber, fiber to the home. It was a $36 million grant. So part of that building the capacity so that every business, every home will have fiber to the home, which hopefully will create opportunities for digital nomads who want to come and stay. I had an opportunity last year to go to uh, Hawaii to just understand how, how, how things are, are going in Hawaii. And maybe Palau should be the next Kauai. That's just a, but so we went to this home that a young couple was in. And when we went to this home, the young couple was in, and the person renting it. So I asked him, I said, what, do this, what does this young couple do? And because they're paying $18,000 a month in rent. And, I, and, I, and he said, well, they're one of the top uh, uh, successful uh, producers of uh, content on TikTok. And so they were there for 18 months, and their next destination was Portugal. <clears throat> And they're going to stay there for 18 months. But young people with innovative new ideas, creating content, and wanting to live around the world. So, how does Palau fit into this picture? How, what can we do? So, about two years ago, and I want to thank the members of the OEK uh, in this room, uh, we began on the journey to create the digital residency program. And uh, we partner with a company called uh, Cryptic Labs. And uh, as of today, we have 10,000 digital residents. And uh, you know our goal is to continue to make that grow. Uh, but you can't just have digital residents, and Vitalik is one of them. Uh, you have to provide services and, 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 and value to what that residency provides. And I think that's one of the things that we uh, hope to hear today from of you uh, as you continue to collaborate to give us ideas of how we can expand those opportunities uh, for people. Uh, one of the things that, uh, of course, is important, an important part of that uh, digital residency program is, is that it's a, it's a way to verify identity, to build trust. Uh, and what we want to continue to add to that is things like mailing addresses, uh, banking services. Of course, we have James here that will share a little bit about uh, uh, the CBDC, but most importantly, developing a stable point. Uh, we're also uh, expanding the opportunity to possibly have uh, digital and voice and text communications uh, for those residents and, 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 and continuing to provide uh, products that can enhance that residency. Uh, one of those uh, areas is, is to be able to have a digital registry, which uh, our friend, uh, uh, Mr. Croft was uh, sharing. But really, uh, the role of government, uh, I always like to use this as, as an example, is uh, uh, to provide a playing field, whether or not I could use a baseball field as an example. So we provide the baseball field, maybe the referees and the umpire to help make sure that the game is uh, played fairly. And, 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 and at the end of the day, uh, uh, the opportunity really comes down to the players and the audience to enjoy. And that's what government is here to do. So really today it's about setting that foundation, sharing and learning. 
Um, if I just may share one of the biggest challenges as a small nation that we have is that over the last 25 years, half of our population has left Palau. And uh, when, when, when they leave Palau, you're losing talent, you're losing those young people, most of them, in fact, 99% of them are moving to the United States, right? So that, which is, I think, the trend in the world. So having, uh, embracing digital technology, coming up with new ideas is hopefully another way to bring our young people back home, to find opportunities for them, because now you can work anywhere and do um, uh, work remotely. And I know that there are young people today that live and work in Palau, in our Palau, but work for companies that are in the U.S. And that's that's really what we want to see. It's, that, it's embracing that transformation, creating big opportunities, so that all of us can live where we want to live. Uh, uh, and I like to say, in the most beautiful place on the planet, it's like Mar our friends from the Marshall Islands, NCN. I, I like to say that we we live in the pristine uh, uh, paradise. And uh, but. You know, the idea is that why not be able to live where you want and create opportunities and, and prosperity wherever you are. So today, I, I know at the end of the day, one of the opportunities that Ellen you know, has shared is, is for everyone to visit uh, the, the Yapis uh, quarry or the Yapis stone money quarry that was in Palau. In fact, if you don't know, all of the Yapis stone money uh, was mined here in Palau and was carried uh, by canoe back uh, to Yap. Yap is about 260 mile, nautical miles away. And if you can just imagine, small wooden canoes carry these big discs uh, across the ocean, uh, navigating by the stars uh, to get there. But you know, lives are lost. Uh, some of them are at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, some of them are still here in the Rock Islands. And so we're in yeah, but really we always say that's the beginning of blockchain technology, right? <laughs> every one, every one of those this have a story, and, and that story uh, uh, is creates the value of that uh, stone money, and I, you know, and, and I think that's the, the important role in our culture, our, our tradition of how we learn and we adapt from that. Uh, Allowance. We, we uh, also have our own version of money. And we have really two kinds of, of money in Palau. One is the turtle shell, a lot lighter than the four meter the size of the stone, right? So the, the turtle shell may not be the best example because you know these are from Hawksville turtles that we, we should protect because they're also getting rare. But this is something for hundreds of years we've made and we consider value and it's traded whether building a house or funerals, uh, and the value really comes about on the stories. It was used uh, as and given to uh, a certain nephew or uh, 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 somebody that, that, that provided something. And that story becomes uh, the value that's in this uh, turtle show. And then, you know, but Palau's didn't stop there. Then they, they saw the opportunities of having beads. Right, so you'll see these around Palau. So this is a ba, and, and I think uh, a little bit much smaller ones are yeah, blue, and then uh, and a bull. So these, so what I what I see that happen in Palau is we kept on getting smaller and smaller in our uh, uh, use of uh, of uh, money because you know. Uh, uh, we 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 learned that it, it's 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 heavy to carry those big discs around. But each of these uh, monies uh, have a story. Uh, whether they were used to uh, create peace between the villages, or uh, you know when the village was at war against each other, uh, sometimes the chiefs would have to go get their money to pay the other chiefs to create to get peace or or to return. Or they would be used the, the money to buy a canoe, or they would use it to buy a house, or at, at funerals, it would be a part of a marriage settlement, 
or to take care of those uh, obligations um, at the funeral. All of those stories were all kept uh, in our original phone blockchain, uh, which I think today we're all learning about how we can embrace new technology. Of course, then we went to money, right? Dollar bills. And then now we've uh, gone beyond that. Credit cards, and then now it's all on our phones. And uh, I think what, what's most important is that we, you know, really look toward setting up a to be economic resilient, uh, economically resilient, a growing economy that everybody can share. And really, as we look uh, into the future, uh, we think of Palau not just as a physical destination, but also as a digital one. Uh, and we see Palau as a place where innovation thrives, uh, where tradition and technology can coexist, and where every uh, digital resident uh, is really an ambassador of those Palau values. Um, we really want to embrace uh, the digital age. We really with the wisdom of our ancestors, uh, the energy of our youth, um, and the vision of a more brighter and a more con a connected future. All of you here today, we invite you to be part of this journey, to co-create, to innovate, and to provide us a global context as we push Palau into its next chapter. So thank you for being here. Uh, we look forward to hearing all the great ideas of how we can grow uh, together. Uh, God bless you all.